Hi, I'm Derek Hurd, Technical Marketing Manager from Xilinx. And I'm Troy Quick, Networking and Storage Applications Engineer from Micron. Today we're showing one of our next generation memory interface solutions from Xilinx and Micron. The system implements a memory interface between a Vertex 7 FPGA, the high performance device from our Xilinx 7 series family, and a Micron RLDRAM 3 device. Before we get started with the demo though, Troy, tell us a little more about RLDRAM 3. Sure, RLDRAM 3 is Micron's newest memory solution for high performance networking applications. It's ideal for products such as routers and switches in 40 gig and 100 gig systems. We've doubled the data rate and cut the latency nearly in half compared to our successful line of RLDRAM 2 devices, making RLDRAM 3 perfect for applications requiring low latency memory access, such as packet buffering, linked lists, or lookup tables. The sustainable lookup table bandwidth is superior to all other memory devices, including high-speed SRAM. And that's precisely why Xilinx designed our Kintec 7 and Vertex 7 FPGAs with the necessary I.O. standards and architectural components for optimal interfacing to RLDRAM 3. These 7 series FPGAs play a major role in high performance wireless and wired networking systems where RLDRAM 3 is a perfect fit. And with support for RLDRAM 3 interfaces at data rates up to 1600 megabit per second, Kintec 7 and Vertex 7 FPGAs provide a significant boost to system performance compared to prior solutions. So let's get on with our demonstration. This is our RLDRAM 3 memory interface characterization platform. This general purpose power module plugs onto the characterization board to provide the necessary power supplies for the system under test. In the center of the board is a socketed Vertex 7 VX485T FPGA, which has nearly half a million usable logic cells and up to 700 user I.O., all of which have high performance memory interface capabilities for communicating with RLDRAM 3, DDR3, and other memory standards. Around the Vertex 7 device, we have a number of RLDRAM 3 devices that implement different interface topologies, such as a single 36-bit interface, a 2 by 36-bit interface, and so on. So Troy, tell us about the specific RLDRAM 3 devices on the board. These are 576 megabit devices, each configured as 16 1 megabit banks with a 36-bit wide data bus. We started sampling these in the first half of 2011, and now we also have 576 megabit devices with an 18-bit interface. Both come in multiple speed grades. Well, we've connected the system to this laptop with a Xilinx platform USB cable to allow us to configure the Vertex 7 device with the RLDRAM3 demo design using the JTAG interface on the FPGA. I've already performed the necessary configuration step. This cable also allows us to monitor the memory interface activity inside the FPGA using our Chipsco Pro Integrated Logic Analyzer tool. Here on the laptop screen, Chipsco Pro captures and displays the memory transactions going back and forth to the RLDRAM3 device. By triggering the Logic Analyzer function, we can view the signal activity at the internal user interface where your design would connect to the RLDRAM3 memory controller inside the FPGA. Here we're showing at the user interface the memory address and bank address buses followed by the write enable signal and write data bus that would be responsible for sending data out to the RLDRAM3 device during a write transaction, and then the read valid signal and the read data bus that would be responsible for capturing the data returning from the RLDRAM3 device during a read transaction. And if we zoom in on the waveform window here, we can see the actual data going back and forth between the FPGA and the memory device. Here at the bottom, we have an error signal monitoring the read data returning from the memory and comparing it to the write data for the same address location to flag any data errors. In addition, this virtual LED will turn red if an error is detected at any time during the test. As you can see, the error signals remain low throughout the duration of the test, indicating an error-free interface between the Xilinx Vertex 7 FPGA and the Micron RLDRAM3 device. Well, that concludes our demo. Please visit the Memory Solutions page on Xilinx.com for more information on memory interfaces for our 7 series FPGAs. And please check out micron.com slash RLDRAM to learn more about our RLDRAM3 products. Thanks for watching.